Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. One driver is dead after a crash involving two semi trucks in Gratiot County. The county sheriff says just before 1130 yesterday morning, the semis collided at East Lincoln and Wisner Roads in Emerson Township. Police say a 42 year old driver from Philadelphia failed to stop at a stop sign while driving east and hit the semi heading south. That man died from his injuries, but the driver and passenger in the other semi were not injured. The intersection was closed for eight hours for the cleanup and investigation. Well, Saginaw Mayor Brenda Moore speaking out after last weekend's deadly shooting that killed two people and injured several others. Moore says in her statement that she began meeting with community leaders to discuss the issue and work on ways to make the city safer. The mayor added, quote, the loss of life is a tragedy for all of us. The senseless and tragic violence that occurred in our city last weekend is devastating for the entire community. We all experience the impact of these traumatic events. It affects our entire community. Now to read the full story, head on over to WNEM.com. Well, a Saginaw woman pleading guilty to embezzling more than $100,000 from her mother. The Michigan Attorney General's office says 60-year-old Valda Quark was accused of spending more than $1.1 million of her mother's money over a 12-month period. Quark was appointed her mother's guardian and conservator in 2018 after her mother suffered multiple strokes and was unable to care for herself. Quark agreed to pay $200,000 in restitution to her mother's estate and the Michigan Department of Treasury. A sentencing date has not yet been scheduled. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. For the remainder of this Friday, just pretty hot outside. We'll also be seeing some higher humidity still as we go through this Friday. High temperatures eventually upper 80s, right near 90 degrees. That warmth also with the humidity does provide some fuel for a few spotty, just pop up showers and thunderstorms. Activity will be pretty isolated this afternoon and most activity that we see will be to the east of I-75. So overall, just some smaller rain chances for today. Just if you'll be outside, just keep an eye on the skies or the radar. If anything does pop up, you might just have to duck inside real quick. That's also the case for this weekend. Still just some scattered rain chances Saturday and on Sunday too. Take a look at Saturday again, mostly just some scattered or pop up chances during the afternoon hours. Then on Sunday, a slightly better chance for rain, and that's also going to be slightly better for the southern half of our area. So our northern counties expected to stay a bit warmer on Sunday afternoon, but a few thunderstorms are going to be possible with that as well. Our smoke does thin through this afternoon, so improving air quality once we head into the later hours today. Also your Saturday, and it is looking like Sunday will also hold on to some slightly better air quality through through mid Michigan, so definitely looking better than what we've seen most days of this week. First alert 7 day forecast shows that we slightly cool down by the end of the weekend. It's 81 by Sunday, then we're back to 85 Monday, 89 for Tuesday for the 4th of July. That's going to be a hot day. Just make sure you're staying hydrated this weekend and early next week. And a cold front looks to move through around Thursday, so that does bring a handful of rain chances back to the forecast by the middle of next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.